suited uh, as much as it is the plants that are well suited for the environment. Uh, they grow in what are you know low nutrient, permanently waterlogged soils. Uh, so they've adapted ways of capturing insects and sometimes reportedly lizards, mice, and other small rodents and things of that sort. They capture these things to supplement some of the things that they don't get out of the soil, particularly nitrogen. Uh, it's one of the more important macronutrients that plants need to uh, thrive and survive. So they've kind of adapted a way to capture insects by either pitcher-shaped leaves, uh, traps as you see in the Venus flytrap, sticky leaves like you see on the butterworts and the sundews, uh, and even other sorts of interesting ways like some of the bromeliads that are actually carnivorous that just kind of uh, capture things in their pockets and the leaves that, that collect water and debris. So it's a variety of things that they've actually adapted uh, to, to capture insects and other things. Saracenia that we have in the display, and the Venus flytraps that a lot of people think are exotic, are actually native to the southeast. The flytraps in particular, the Carolinas and the coastal, coastal Carolinas, where it tends to be sandy, peaty bogs, that kind of stuff. Uh, even some of the butterworts and sundews are native to this country. Um, the Utricularia, which is the bladderwort, one of the more uh, well-adapted plants in the entire world, honestly, is also native to this country, as well as just about every continent other than Antarctica. You'll find carnivorous plants all over the world. It's unbelievable. Thank you.